Alright guys, we are back and we are gonna kinda continue where we left off here. We got through the second gym. And now we're gonna move on. We're gonna get into the facility. Save the owner of the bike shop. Get ourselves a free bike. We might go back into the forest and see what we're missing. But let's see. Oh, here we go. TM93 Awesome, let's go, I think if I'm not mistaken Where would it be? All right, so I know there's gonna be a quick jump in this, but I, uh, long story short, the video got messed up when I entered here. And luckily, <laughs> luckily I didn't save. So I'm like, all right, we'll just go in. We'll redo this. Uh, it was it was not very hard. So I'm like, all right, I'm not too worried. Cause whew, if this were like one of those moments where I like encountered some kind of like trial and triumph, I would have been very, very sad if it did not get captured, but luckily, it was not one of those uh, awesome moments that was really worth highlighting, but uh, I did want to kind of go through it and show you guys how it how it rolls out. Um, so there's gonna be an odd jump, uh, but I feel like this section has bad luck. They actually got messed up twice. I did it once, and it got the the video was a little bit like wonky. And then I went to go do it again, but so what happened was before that, I'll, I'll preface this. I waited for a bit because I was trying to learn how to use the editing software so it would look nice. Um, because I'm like, I have used the editing software, and I just want to make sure I understand what I'm doing before I do this or see what I kind of need to do to get back to here, or you know if I should just forfeit that first kind of clip. I mean, you know, you know there's nothing really there. Um, so it was okay to sacrifice, but I wanted to be, try, I'm trying to capture every, you know, moment from here to there. And then when I get the, the actual, like, kind of finalized video after we do all this, and I do the recap, kind of consolidating, going through all of it. But, so I figured out how these things all work. Very nice, very easy, um, not nearly as complex, um, so there's not a ton of options in, in the software. But, with that in mind, it is very easy to work, and it'll be very good for what we're doing, um, since I'm not like, uh, you know, I'm not the world's best editor, uh, but I will be able to kind of, you know, cut, move scene by scene, and it also kind of, it's nice because it pre-organized everything for, for me, and it was free, so that's also a nice little touch, but um, then, so, I'll jump back to the most recent one, which was about, like, 10 minutes ago. <laughs> I hop on, I'm like, alright, cool, we're gonna go through this real quick, we're gonna, we're gonna, it's gonna be awesome, great. So we're going through, and I am getting up to a, the battle right above this first person that you battle going down, and my cat knocks my switch out of the station, and <laughs> completely freezes the entire uh, video, I'm like, oh no. <laughs> but what happened, but the, what the funny part was, is she did it right when I was knocking out, like, the first Pokemon in the battle. And so I'm like, alright, well maybe it's okay. And I know it, like, kind of glitches and goes wonky, but maybe it'll pick up on the second one. But then OBS just completely stopped capturing the rest of it. Because I'm not fantastic with OBS. So I'm like, oh, well, we're gonna go through this again. So this... This little segment here is probably cursed. So if I do another run of diamond for uh, for the channel, I might just skip recording this. This just might be, we'll just have to do it this one time. If I can do it successfully, we'll accept that it happened. And we'll accept that it happens every time. 
and uh, I can avoid the cursed segment. Because it's not like it's a particularly hard segment, but a lot of technical errors have occurred. <laughs> I don't believe you. Yeah. Right. Let's go up here. Yeah, this is the person that it crashed on last time. This segment is super easy, and I appreciate that. The second gym was super easy, and I really appreciated that. Just kind of flying through this here. I do, after this, want to go back to the Eternal City, or the Eternal Forest, and make sure I didn't miss anyone, trainer-wise. So I'm going to use the Repel. Just because I don't feel like getting caught in like 18 to 20 wild encounters. I don't mind them by any means. But if it can be avoided, you know, I just kind of want to make sure we can. Oh, she's coming back. No, 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 no. Not again. Not the same trainer. At least let me make progress so I can <laughs> do a record from a different segment. All right, here we go. Just gonna use a lot of flame wheel. Here we go. Easy XP. Oh, and burnt. We'll just use Ember. I'm not gonna use Flame Wheel when it's like a moment like this. Now this one is super easy. Oh, yeah, maybe not. I could have swore that would have been enough. Let's try a. Uh, let's try a flame wheel. It went down. Let's do this then. 
Yeah, let's do. All right, we're gonna heal up. Take a second and re-engage here. Sorry, I know three of his moves, and they don't do that much damage, so I can get away with kind of power up, power punching. So I can get a little bit more attack, and then from there we'll, we'll work it in. Yes. That's okay. I'll probably take one more of those. I can definitely take one more of those, unless it were a crit, but I can, I can do it. You know, let's try the. Let's go for the mock punch. I think that this actually might be enough to do it. All right. Ooh. What? Get out of here. <laughs> I never thought that the skunk tank was gonna be <laughs> that big of a test for me. All right. <laughs> I don't know why that was such a struggle that time. Alright, let's get the bicycle. Let's antidote first. And. Make sure I can get into that. Get out of here. Kerchow. We've got a free bicycle. Then we can use the repel. Come right out. We're not doing the underground cycle because that is just a time burner. Let me see what blue looks like. I don't know. Blue's kind of my thing, too. Oh, no. I didn't mean that. Ah, uh, it's okay. I was going to go back to red. But it's fine. I'll stick with blue. All that register bike. Wait, what's that? What's the register mean? Hold on. Oh, wait, it's L and that. Something seems wrong about this. Give me off this bike. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I've registered it, but it's not working. All right. Always like it into the turn up bar. So. I will cycle there. No, no. Ah, oh, all right. Never mind. We'll worry about it later. Um, I will get more healing items. I think my training potions are super potions because I don't, I don't need potions anymore. Yeah, let's get rid of those. I'll keep 
those come when I need them. I'm not going to use this to catch anything. Escape her, vault keeping case. Awesome. I'm here to buy. Let's get like 40 of these bad boys. I see those seem fairly important. Well, I don't think I'll have that problem, but you know, just in case. Like 20. Sick. Let's get out of here. I don't want the explorer kit. No. All right, we'll get the explorer kit. And we'll get down here. Try to skip over it. This was not how I was hoping this would go. Now we're out of here. Let's see, let's make sure we fight all the training bonus here. I'm pretty sure we fought on the turn of forest now, I think about it, but... Ooh. Use Ember, I think that's just enough to... Get the job done here. I was just thinking, well, Star Raptors are gonna be kind of a pain because they are fast. I might be without speed. Well, no, not without speed EVs, which, given just the nature of this run, EV training would be mostly pointless because when you when you beat. A Pokemon game with one Pokemon, you're going to be fighting so many Pokemon. So, even if you were to EV train, it'd be very diluted. At least that's how I'm thinking about it. Because I was thinking about doing just attack and having, you know, and just kind of balancing out from there. But. There's so much. Yeah. Also, it would extend this run and. A significant amount. Which I'm, I'm okay with having long runs, don't get me wrong, but. Do I want to let him move? 
No, I don't want to. I forgot things are normal. There's nothing I'm willing to give up. Because the fighting type moves are my salvation. And the fire type moves are my bread and butter. Okay, a little test run on how this goes. Awesome. All right, let's get in trouble here. be nice and easy. It's just a start of me. Kind of like having a moxie on top of all this. Attack would be through the roof if you had moxie in this, which is, I believe moxie is what I'm thinking of, where every time you knock out a Pokemon in battle, your attack raises. Then if you're throwing power punches with it, oh. Any attack boost with that. Any attack move that boosts your attack with that would be good. So you could use that and hopefully rely on it to get your first first knockout. Or even if it's six you get through your first three. I wonder how this will work out. Kinda curious. Okay. Just as I thought. Yeah, I feel like this is a lot more effective than using fire types. I might as well just go in. That's the one thing that's weird. I'm used to. So when I do get out sped, I'm always kind of weirded out because I'm so used to being the faster one on the field. So I think what we'll do is we'll wrap it up after this biking route. Here we go. <clears throat> there we go. Because we're not going to miss a single trainer along this route. I'm not going to do that. And then the next one can be our move towards the third gym. smooth here. Oh wow, there we go. So I, this, this, and then, okay, cool. And then the next one could be like the third gen.
Yeah, we'll see about that. I almost think that this one Pokemon run at this point is becoming easier than than my other runs because normally I like to kind of balance it out. But with everything, you I mean you're really giving everything to one Pokemon. So when you give everything to just one Pokemon, they're so strong. So I think I think it's definitely gonna be possible, especially especially with this with, with Brilliant Diamond, because we don't need to teach anyone HMs. So we'll we'll be okay in that sense as well. Oh, I'm static. Oh, thank goodness. I have paralyzed here too. So that works out. There we go. And we are out of here. Oh, we use the paralyzed field as well. And actually, we are going to get into some battles coming out of this. I don't want to go. But I didn't do that. Get off. Yeah. Let's just gather these here. And let's replant them. Sleep, poisoning. Us. Uh, no, we're gonna, we're gonna do. Sleep a little lot more irritating than poisoning, in my opinion, because then you just get beaten on your sleep and you can't really return any fire. Right. So I can find invisible items. Awesome. Actually, I want to see what happens here. Let's see if we can get both fighters really quick. Nope, just one at a time. We can dream. Sort of the power punch to see where we're landing. So I can use the mock punch and wrap it up at this point then. It's always good just to kind of start off small.
Oh wow. Lose Ember. <laughs> I tried to make the two on one happen. In the original ones, you could. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm like coughing up a storm. Alright, so we will wrap it up here. I do appreciate all of you guys for checking it out. Uh, let me guys let me know what you think or if there's a better way to kind of run these as we go forward. If you guys like the way we've been kind of cutting it up now. Um, or if there's another way you guys like to see it kind of get sliced up. Um, you let me know. And uh, I hope you guys all have a great day and I'll see you guys all at the next one. Peace.